Welcome to the summit on MidwestSports.net. We're on the YouTube channel tonight. We're on the Twitter feed tonight as well. And thanks for tuning in. Listen, we have a special guest, and that guest is Katie Webb from the Southeastern Savage Storm, women's basketball player who has uh, been with the program for a long, long time. Now, I'll just go ahead and get that joke out of the way now. <laughs> Because I, I know that's been a running gag for a little while, and, and uh, I've, I've joked about it with, uh, with your coach, Coach Darren oh, Grover, yeah. and uh, I know that you've probably heard, uh, well, more than anyone uh, about your longevity with the program. Katie has been with the Southeastern program for five years. I think we've joked about it being seven or eight or something like that. But the reason is, is that uh, she is a testament to hard work and effort and sticking something out and dealt with injuries. She played through the injuries, actually actually had to have her season stop because of injuries, was granted a medical hardship, worked and got her way back into not only the team starting lineup, but leading scorer on the team this year, putting up more than 18 points a game, which led the Great American Conference in scores in women's basketball, 7.6 rebounds a game, good enough for the Great American Conference Player of the Year. Katie, I could talk about you for another, you know, five, 10 minutes without giving you a chance to step in here, just because I'm so impressed with you, not only as a person, as a basketball player, what you've done on and off the court, but uh, talk about working your way back in and, and this senior year, it really has been a good year for you. Yes, definitely. Um, you know, last year when I tore my ACL, that's never really part of anybody's plan, but um Thankfully, I had gotten another year from my medical hardship, so I knew that I had one last chance to come back, and you know, I just worked every day to try to make the most of this year, and I feel like I was successful at that. Oh, I think there's no doubt. <laughs> no <laughs> doubt at all. Again, we, we talked about the accolades there and, and uh, leading the team in scoring, which, by the way, uh, you had a pretty good counterpart on that. Uh, one of oh, your yeah. teammates in Cameron Cantwell was second in the Great American Conference in scoring. We'll talk about her in just a moment. But uh, just to push on through, you come to Southeastern Oklahoma State University across the Red River, coming up from, from Texas, from Melissa, Texas, and, and just really have made your mark on this program. Talk about playing for Southeastern and, and playing for Coach Grover. Well, uh, I chose Southeastern because it was so close to home. Uh, I wanted my parents to be able to come to every single game. I knew a girl that was on the team already, Shelby Hill. I went to high school with her. And so uh, I really trusted her opinion. And she said Coach Grover was a great, great coach and I would fit in really well. And then when I went and had my um, tour with Coach Grover, he just explained to me that I would – be able to make an impact as a freshman and you know I, there was a good chance I could get on those record walls and in, in our hallway <laughs> and so that I mean that had always been my goal and it was just a great five years and between coach Grover and uh, Sammy Joe our assistant coach you know they really just pushed me in every single way on the court off the court just to to make the most and reach my potential. You know, I believe you finished second on the all-time scoring list at, at Southeastern. Do you know the name of the player that was above you on that list? <laughs> you know, you can't really th – uh, Crystal Robinson. Crystal yeah. Robinson. Yeah, <laughs> Crystal Robinson. I, I think uh, lots of folks, not only around the Durant area, but all around this region of the country know that name. And, you know, it's, it's funny, too, because I know that you're friends with Haley Tucker – and you know, we were broadcasting the Great American Conference mm -hmm. uh, semifinals and finals, which you led your team to a championship in the Great American Conference. And she's one of those players that's kind of like you. She made her mark on the program, but you know, just trying to reach the numbers of a <laughs> Kelly Litch or a Crystal Robinson, it's just not going to happen. No, no, it's not. <laughs> you just have to do your best to try to get that second place and keep pushing. Well, you did a fantastic job and, and really made your mark on the Southeastern program. I wanted to talk to you not only uh, about that and coming into the program, obviously recent events have, have changed the way this season really ultimately has, has wound up. And, and, you know, it's, I want to talk about the sports side of it, but I know we need to talk about the, the now right now you led your team again to a great American conference, regular season championship, a, a, a championship that was shared with Harding and with Southwestern mm -hmm. as well. But you know what? You got that championship. You're up <laughs> yeah. there at the top and, and your league record was one of those that, that was at the top of the list. So 
uh, hands down to that. But also you followed up with a tournament championship, which is a pretty good one-two punch there. Congratulations on both of those. And talk about winning the GAC tournament championship after having made trips to Bartlesville that weren't as successful. Well, um, I know for me personally, I had I hadn't played in the tournament the last two years. Uh, I was on the I was sidelined, hurt, just having to watch. But um, I had never won a game at the tournament, and so to be able to go in and win three straight and come out with a with a trophy that was that was one of our goals from the beginning of the year. Obviously, we wanted to win both those championships, but being able to put in that hard work and see it actually happen, it was. It was an amazing feeling, and I know everybody on the team felt that way. And, you know, we wanted to push into regionals and really make our mark and, you know, try to make even more history. But being able to come out on top and finish the season on a win, you can't, for, you can't ask for anything better. You know, that's a really good point, too. And, and if, you know, if this winds up being your last season, which I know people have talked about uh, the, the eligibility and – uh, you were you were honestly one of the first people I thought of when people were talking <laughs> about getting eligibility after this season. For those who were still playing, I thought, my goodness, uh, she'll be 30 years old before she gets <laughs> through at this pace. But, uh, you know, if it is your last game, to go out with a win like that, I, I know that that has to be something that, that you'll always remember fondly. Definitely, definitely. And, I mean, we didn't get a chance to play in the NCAA tournament, but, you know, the other teams in our conference – that made it they didn't get to end on a win so right i mean yeah it hurts and it it, it was hard but you just got to accept it talk about that really quickly then before we we go on and talk about your career you know you're you're scheduled to play in in warrensburg missouri of course the the home of the central missouri jennies mm -hmm. who had not that long ago won a national championship yeah. themselves had a pretty good season this year and uh you all come in would have come in as the number five seed had you gotten on the road yet or, or how far along were you in this whole trip and and how you found out new the news that uh, you you know you weren't going to get to to finish the season like you wanted to yeah we got to missouri on wednesday um wednesday night stayed the night we had just gotten to Central Missouri to practice, and um, we had seen that Division One had been canceled, so we were all just sitting there. We had changed into our practice gear, waiting for Central Missouri to clear the floor, and then Coach Grover just walked up to us. And, I mean, we could tell by the look on his face that that is the last thing he wanted to be telling us. Um, so we just – we gathered around, and we took a picture at Central Missouri. You know, I mean, <laughs> we made it, so – we yeah. had to, we had to remember it and it, I could just tell it hurt the coaches probably more than it, than it hurt us seniors. So I understand. And you have a fantastic coaching staff. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that with uh, you know, Kaylee Ragsdale and Sammy Joe Cotton Black. And of course, coach Darren Grover, who has led this team for so long. And, you know, every time I say that, he always <laughs> takes that like I'm, I'm, he does. it's not an old joke. It's not an old joke. <laughs> I don't know maybe if you're listening, Darren, <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little bit, I'm older than he is. So I, I don't have any room to talk there, but you know, he's been a part of the program for so long, uh, that, uh, but he's led it so well. And, and I, I, I believe you're right. I, you know, it has such an impact on him and, and he loves you all so much. So, Definitely. um, that, that was a tough thing, but you, you get up there, by the way, the, the multi-purpose building there at Warrensburg, that's a, that is a big place a great yeah. place to to get to play in a game and and uh, and see a game like that um and by the way i'm 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 finding out people are listening so long yes that's all right uh, i'll i'll hear from darren on on that later on um but it's a great place take the and i'm sure you got pictures with the logos and everything too that's the big deal right yeah yeah. <laughs> be a part of that. So anyway, well, you know what? You are an NCAA tournament qualifier, automatic yes. qualifier, by the way. And weren't you the one that got to push the button to uh to sign in? I did. That was <laughs> I I I'll remember that forever. It was just such an awesome moment. You know, teammates around me. Um I mean, what else could I ask for? <laughs> well, let's let's talk really quickly then ab about your career, and, and I appreciate your time tonight, of course, speaking with Katie Webb, a, a legend at now at Southeastern, uh, a, a part of a team that is an NCAA tournament qualifier, Great American Conference tournament champion, second all-time leading scorer for the Southeastern Savage Storm women's basketball team, who have had some pretty 
good players over the course of the year. And I, I just always thought that about you, Katie, watching you play. And I, I was broadcast on the Southeastern broadcast for a number of years as well. And I remember when you were a freshman and, and, <laughs> and a sophomore so long ago. Let, yeah, it seems it like go. a lifetime anyway. ago. <laughs> <laughs> but what, the thing I, that I noticed from the beginning is just you have such a pure shot. You know, it's one of those mid-range jumpers when you get the ball anywhere from 8 to 17 feet, not that you can't drive the lane because mm -hmm. you do, not that you can't hit a three-pointer because you do, but that mid-range jumper really is a bit of a lost art, and you have it down. Yeah. Um, learning how to shoot it was not the most fun thing in the world. Uh, my dad and I it took a lot of long days, and I wanted to give up a lot of times, but, <laughs> you know, he made me push through, and I'm so thankful for that now because, I mean, a lot of girls don't shoot it, so they don't know how to guard it. So, I mean, I feel like it was – I mean, it was my whole game. So that was, that was what I did. Well, and, and you, not only can you do it well, but, uh, you know, you have the frame to do it. You're, you're a taller guard. If you, if you want to say that I, I, you know, I remember again on the broadcast, I would say, well, she's a wing and I, I'd get corrected every now and again. No, she's, a, she's a guard. Well, how do you see yourself then as, as a player, as a guard, a guard forward, what, you know, how do, how do you feel like you fall into play? What's funny is in high school, I was a point guard. <laughs> um, but when I entered college, I quickly became a, a guard. And then I feel like over the years I became a guard forward. Cause as we had players like, um, MM David, who was in the post. And so once those players graduated, I got to work around more of the mid range area. So I got to be more of a forward. So that's, that's mainly what I liked to do, but yeah, guard forward. But you can play anywhere on the court, and and that has been proven. And uh, if you haven't seen Katie Webb play, you need to go watch some film because it really is worth your time to get to to see that. You know, wrapping up this the, your career then in in your senior year, and I realize you know you got to play some with Cameron Cantwell last mm -hmm. year, but it was a season cut short. And so this year you get the full season with, uh, with Cantwell and, you know, she's a pretty good player in and of her own right, second in the league in scoring. And she's a sophomore this year. She's someone that will make her mark and actually is making her mark already on the Southeastern program, the tournament MVP for the great American conference tournament, along with the championship. Talk about playing with someone like her and, and the rest of this team in the season you had this year. Well, Cam and I both got hurt last year. Uh, we we had great chemistry on the court last year, so I think that was one of our biggest goals for this year was to continue that, find it again, continue it. And from the beginning of the year, I feel like anytime she would drive, she would find me. If I would drive, I would find her, and it was it was really good. And she has definitely started to make her mark on on the program. Um, you know, two more years with her and with Briley and. You know, they've got some seniors that are going to be really good. And, you know, she can she can do it all. Just she can shoot three. She can drive. Um, you know, she's just a scorer. She really is. And I think that's really important to have on a team. And, I mean, Briley was in the in the top 15 of scorers, too, in the in the GAC. And right. I think it's really, really rare for a team. You think about Southwestern the past few years. They've had their top three scorers in the yeah. top however many. And I feel like that really – aided in our success this year well you, you're right and and i really i really i don't know how to say this because i've i've thought about it a number of times so so bear with me as i as i work this thought process out i would never have wanted you to get hurt no okay never have <laughs> wanted uh, anything like that for anyone after it happened and and you know you're looking at it and and think you know that that Southwestern team last year was just, uh, it was a wrecking crew. And, uh, you know, they, they just tore through the league, tore through, uh, you know, even the playoffs. And someone who is, is uh, close to the Southeastern program as well, I'm close to both of those programs, mm -hmm. the Southeastern program as well. I thought, you know what? When Katie comes back next year, if she gets the paperwork done, if she's able to, <laughs> you know, go ahead. And, and I know, you know, that's always a question. You, you, it's not just a given. But if she gets that paperwork done and she's able to come back for another year, this next year may just be Southeastern's year yeah. and, and she'll be able to shine there too. And I, and I think it worked out. I really do too. Um, you know, it's funny how those things happen and it was a fight to get my, my hardship, but I'm so glad that we really tried and we got it because, you know, this year was just special with, with the team that we had, we had all the right pieces. And I think that was evident from, you know, we started conference so strong, had a rough patch, but then 
we peaked at the right time. We, we went into the conference tournament at our strongest. And I mean, there was no question in those games who was going to win. Well, I appreciate getting to visit with you about this now. When you look back on your career then, and, and I know that it's there are a lot of things that are fresh on your mind then. Is there anything that stands out about the, the college basketball career and you think, hey, this was a fun game or this was a, uh, you know, a fun time? And, and um, what stands out to you about that? You know, uh, one of the most fun games this year was definitely Southern Naz at home uh, with the game winner. Everyone was so excited. Uh, you don't really get many of those in your career. So that one was really fun. But I think just collectively all the years, it was, I mean, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else for my college experience. And if I did it all over again, I would choose the same school and have the same outcome. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it it's just been a blessing to be able to go to Southeastern and to play and make my mark. Well, as someone who is a Southeastern alum, I have to tell you that I, I am proud of that, and I'm I am glad that you've been a part of the program. I'm glad to have gotten to visit with you so many times over the years, and I know this will not be the last time we get to talk, but I'm very thankful that we get to talk about your, your sports. And and here, here on MidwestSports.net, uh, we're going to keep talking sports until we get sports back. <laughs> so I, I'm glad to get to talk about a positive thing in sports and what a fantastic career and a fantastic person you are, Katie. Well, thank you so much. It's been it's been an honor to talk to you too. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, folks, uh, we're going to wrap up our time here tonight, live streaming here on MidwestSports.net. Please do subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that if you'd subscribe to the YouTube channel. Of course, we're streaming live on the Twitter feed as well right now. Thanks for everyone. Thanks to everyone for watching. I appreciate that. We're going to continue on. We are going to keep talking about sports until we get sports <laughs> back, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. But I appreciate that. Thanks to Katie Webb for being on with me tonight. This has been the MidwestSports.net, the summit. Thanks again. Please do subscribe. God bless you, and have a great night. Thank you.